Hello YouTube, this is Ambi and today we will talk about uh, Args and Quarks. You might have heard of this Args and Quarks. Uh, the names kind of sounds strange and interesting. Uh, and some people this uh, find it a bit uh, confusing as well. Uh, I initially did too. But I, I will try to keep them simple and try to make them as understandable as I have understood and as simple as it can be. But uh, as I always do, I uh, explain things by doing them rather than just you know, say them and then do them, right? Do them. Uh, let's write a function here and I'm writing args as the argument. Uh, there is another var as a variable. That's also an argument here. The first argument, I will say first argument is write for arg in args I will say print arg hmm. and I will call that arguments now arguments 1, 2, two 3, 4 right shift enter the so first argument okay that is the first argument and it printed that out. Now what I will do is I will copy paste this. I will take this out. I will take this out as well. Right, not needed. So shift enter. Right, so that's what happened. So as you can see here, um, star args represents an arbitrary number of arguments. You can use this uh, when you are not sure about the number of arguments that you are going to pass, right? That means uh, it can be a list, I don't know, like 10, 20, something. Are you, there is another function and you are using the output of that function here to feed into this and you don't know how many elements or items will be there in the output of that function or whatever process that's going on. So oh, let's move on to quarks now. Arguments again. I will take this. Well, oh, let me type it. Arguments. So it's just a double star here. That's it. No fancy stuff. Enter and say print quarks. Right. And and I will do this for you. I would like to show. Mm, okay, let me do this. What should I use? I'm just thinking. Argument. Arguments. Sorry. I will say Batman. Rich is. And then Superman equals light. Flash equals speed. I mean, I'm just saying equals. That's easy to say. Actually, assigning right. So as you can see, what happened is uh, star double star quarks or double star var, whatever you want to call, takes um, an assigned value. So double star quarks takes a named arguments and it treats it like a dictionary. So basically, that's where it is. So let's uh, improve upon this uh, this is definitely not what we want we want a bit more so let's say for key value in quark star items i will say print f uh, the super power of key is value right as a hmm okay is that like all right so shift enter the superpower of batman is rich the superpower of superman is flight the superpower of flash is speed in short star args are double star args 
are used to pass variable uh, number of arguments. Variable, it's uh, not just one, many. Single star tells Python that it is going to be a list of arguments, or uh, number of arguments, for which we're not sure what will be the number of arguments. And double star tells Python that it is going to be like a dictionary. Not exactly a dictionary, but a named argument. Named arguments, plural. So a list of named arguments. Now this can again uh, be, you don't have to use quarks, you can just say wars, you know, whatever you want to call it. That will, that should still theoretically work and it is working. I will take this and put it here, right? I will say wars again, wars, and I will say a, a, it should still work, right? So that's all we had for quarks today. Um, thank you for tuning in.